Hey guys, this is going to be something different, but I have to do this before I quit because I'm about this close to letting this channel go. And I'm being honest, it's not good, baby. <laughs> Guys, listen, I'm up here flying Jays. I just found out something I never knew. You know, I almost feel guilty letting you on in on this little secret, but hey, you know, that's what I do. But I got a hack. This I found this new arcade machine that's amazing. Got a guaranteed payout. No matter what you do, it's a little trick that I learned. I'm gonna show you right now. This 100 percent guaranteed hack. You're gonna love it. It's freaking awesome. Alright, so check this out. This new arcade thing up here. Just go up, you hit this button three times. One. Two, three, you put your money in. Now watch this, you ain't gonna believe it. Now watch, I am not going with them. Look at that. Look, look at that. All that money, guaranteed. All right, all right guys, check this out. Now, this is real time. Wait a minute. Th this is real time, it's, it's crazy. I, I ain't never seen anything like it, but watch. One, two, three, come on. I didn't even do anything. Isn't that crazy? Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning in for the best hack on YouTube. The best arcade hack guaranteed to win. 100% guaranteed. Now, I'm at my favorite arcade spot. Definitely not my arcade. Definitely not my house. Definitely not. $20 card. I won this iPad that's definitely not mine or definitely not my son's for Christmas. And I'm going to show you how I did that today. Ah! What do you think? Bullshit. <laughs> All right, guys, let me get into it real quick. Uh, before you start leaving a thumbs down and be honest with you, those days of me, every time I upload a video, I got this person, I'm gonna say guy, because it's easier for me, but uh, there's two of them. As soon as I put a video up within the first few minutes, they leave a thumbs down. I obviously don't need to watch it. They just hate me for whatever reason. Uh, it's been like that way for since pretty much the channel started, so I pissed in somebody's Cheerios a long time ago. <laughs> I'm too old to care anymore. But anyways guys, what I'm getting to is to all you all loyal people that have been a part of this channel since day one, just came a part of it, or just been an awesome person that's liked the videos, please don't take anything that I say in this video directed towards you all. Because I promise the people that really I think need to see this, I'm hoping will get the opportunity to see it, but I don't know if they will. But I need to vent because I need your help. Let me get to the venting. All right, real quick. Way back when, let's go back in story time land of YouTube. Remember the prank channels? Remember they were everywhere, like leeches. Prank, 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 prank. Everywhere. And overnight, these dudes uh, came millionaires. And they got their YouTube money and they moved out to L.A. and wherever, built their new homes, new cars, all in their YouTube prank money. And then all of a sudden, all this stuff started coming out about the prank channels, and they were all lies. They were all full of shit. They weren't real. They were paid actors. They weren't real responses. Surely they got what was coming to them. They were deceiving their audience. Surely everyone said, I don't want no parts of them no more. Right? Right? Wrong. <laughs> They're bigger than ever. People didn't care. Let me give you another real quick example. There was these touching stories shared everywhere on the news and on Facebook. To this day, the same stories on Facebook about these, these unbelievable kind acts this, this homeless person did or this unbelievable acts, you know. And it was exploiting homeless people was what it was doing. These people that are homeless, they literally hit the bottom they could in their life, unfortunately. You know, just whatever the situation is, it's just not good. They, they're, they're out in the weather, they're, you know, they have to worry about where they're going to get food. They're not around their family. And these people are exploiting them. They were going out and basically paying these uh, actors to go out and pretend they were homeless. Or they were just exploiting the fact that homeless people don't have money. And they were giving them just a little bit of money to act out a scenario. These unbelievable acts and all these things. and went everywhere and just people touching stories and everybody ah these guys are so nice for what they're doing for the homeless people but wait a minute 
Surely they couldn't be full of shit. Just like the prank channels, huh? Ooh, they actually were? They got caught by CNN and Fox News and NBC and all these other YouTubers? Well, I guarantee you, guarantee at least they had to, they definitely went down. They had to go down for it. But they didn't? Oh, no, they didn't. They're bigger than ever. <laughs> it's, it makes no sense. And to any logical person with a heart, you look at it and say, how, how is that possible? But let me get into something real quick to exp and give you a purpose to the story. YouTube just recently changed their algorithm. And their algorithm has affected thousands of channels. Thousands of channels. My own, uh, to be included. Uh, people, you know, were blaming YouTube, uh, you know, for this change that their channels are crashing. But... I'm starting to believe, and I'm not even being, being contradicted right now, I'm starting to believe that that's not what brought the channels down, was what YouTube started exploiting was something, was something that was always there, that was something that was always the big want out of the audience, and they didn't care how it came, whether it was lies, which a lot of people call the clickbait, meaning, you know, the fishing bait to get you, they put whatever titles they can think of, and they put these creative thumbnails up, even though it's never actually happening in the video, or if it is happening, it's a lie, just so you can click on their video, and you, you yourself, the content creator, and YouTube get their ad money. That's, that's the big push, you know, people that watch the videos the longest or click on the most videos, that's the big one, no matter what, at what cost. So here's the problem. When I got into the arcade community, I got into this stuff, I got into it because I am a small business owner, I own arcades, I own a couple, I uh, owned a family center, uh, and a crane route. And I thought it would be neat, it would be advantageous. Something I love to do and something I'd like to put out there for you all to show you the inside workings of how this stuff works. You know, my thought initially was show you how actually the operations of the business went and how the games actually work and how I set them up and, uh, you know, the inside workings of it. Well, that didn't really truly work for me for whatever reason. People, maybe I was the only one that had interest in that. So then people just enjoyed the coin pushers. Uh, and then became a coin pusher channel. Well, this has always been a hobby. Um, you know, obviously, I, I want the channel to grow, and obviously, I'd like to make money, make money back from you know what I put into it. But the one thing that I never seen coming hit me like a freight train in the night is I never thought it would happen in the arcade community. I never thought that uh, it was plausible to to be a prank channel or exploit anything on, on, on these style videos. How would you? Well, believe me, if there's a will, there's a way, and there's always someone that figures it out. <laughs> and basically, if you don't know what people are doing, is they're putting, they're going out and they're buying their own equipment. They're buying their own claw machine. They're going out and buying whatever. They're, they're putting it either in their house or they're putting it wherever. They're pretending like they're at someone else's arcade and they're putting the iPad that Granny got them for Christmas inside of there and winning these unbelievable prizes out of it. They're going up the machines and doing these unbelievable hacks that 100% guaranteed to work that make absolutely no sense whatsoever. So what I did, using the flash of my phone at this arcade that I'm definitely not at my house, go into your phone and you hit the flash button and you go up and you just use it and you go in like this. Now you definitely don't open it up. You definitely don't hit this button. Because I'm definitely not in my arcade. Then you take your camera out. Now this is the craziest part. You take your camera out and you take it and you turn around and you take a picture and you say, idiot! And that's all you have to do. Because I'm definitely not at my home where I used to record this stuff on my equipment. Because I would never do that. Because I care all about you all. I don't care about you. But what they're doing is they're falling victim to what everyone else has fell victim to on this network. And they don't care basically about the quality of the content. They don't care about you learning anything out of it. You're actually pretty much dumber by the time you're done watching their videos. All they care about is making that YouTube money making that ad money, you know, as long as you click on it and YouTube in return will reward them. 
by putting those videos up on the top of the news feeds and the top of you know trending and whatever. It's not about quality, it's about quantity. And unfortunately that's how it is with these videos. So why does that make me want to quit? Well, to sum it up pretty quick, I'm, I'm not really proud to be a part of this uh, genre anymore. I thought it was something different. I thought we were doing something different. Believe me, the channel self-defense mechanism, their coping mechanism is, these people that are saying this are jealous of me. They're jealous of my success because they're not getting bigger. The truth be told is, it calling out their bullshit. People that are actually have tried to be legit and then see that bullshit gets rewarded, you get mad. Everyone, you have a right to voice your opinion on that. The other thing they'll do is they'll they'll boohoo at that point and they want you to feel sorry for them. But let me, before you get too much into feeling sorry for them, if you had a friend, a relative, whoever, that uh, didn't really care what they told you, what how extent of a lie that they were telling you, as long as they were getting money out of you. They, they, they were trying to get money out of you, they keep coming back, keep telling you the same old lie, you know, I got fired and as they take 20 bucks from me and drive to work or whatever it is. If you found out that they have been doing that to you for a while, what would you do? Well, you probably would either unfriend them or you would not talk to them for a while. Well, that's pretty much what they're doing to you. They, they're saying, and, and the thing is, is especially in this area, most of the viewers are people my son's age. Uh, maybe a little bit older, but they're taking advantage of it. You know, because what's the one thing when you're young? You're gullible, you know, because you, you don't see things for what they are yet. So you have trust in people. So this is what they trust. They trust these people that are lying to them. And the people that are doing it, have no, don't feel sorry for them. Don't go join their army and, and attack everyone that attacks them because they don't care about you. You're literally standing behind some, somebody that's making bank. And when I say bank, they're making bank off of you. All just so they can make more money. It makes no sense and you can keep getting lied to. So they're not your friends, they're not your buddies. Casey Neistat did a whole thing about that, about people that get these false relationships with some of these YouTubers that these YouTubers don't even know who they are. You know, you see them out in public and would never even know anything about them. Uh, but because you, you, you watch them on the other end, you get this false uh, a trust in them or this false friendship. And no, I just don't be gullible. So here's what I'm asking of you all. Uh, I'm not quitting yet, even though I do have other projects and new channels. I've been talking about it forever, but believe me, that's how serious I'm taking it. Um, it's been getting 100% accuracy and 100% work done to it. But uh, before I just completely give up on this channel, I need your ideas. I need your help. And I'm not saying I'll never lie, but how can I st stay in this with pride? What can I do? Because I, and I'm seriously, that's not a statement, that's a question. How, how can I keep going? What can I do to make myself separated from, from these people? Because I don't want to be any parts of these people. I, I, I truly don't. When this channel stops losing its muster and it's not fun to record anymore and it's, it's an obligation and I don't want to be a part of it and that's the reason why you know, even now that my I feel good and everything's doing good, I'm, I didn't even put a video out last week. The video that I have, I just didn't post it because after Matt uh, Magnum put his video out and we talked on the phone that night, I was I just started thinking about it. I was thinking, man, I don't know if I want to be a part of this field no more. I, I truly don't. Uh, the fortunate thing that I have that Matt doesn't have, this is Matt's career. And fortunately, or now unfortunately, I'm not sure. I, I, I need you, I trust you all. Um, I always have trusted you all. I trust y'all's comments. I talk to y'all as much as I possibly can. I try to meet up when I possibly can at different spots. So help me. <laughs> this weekend, I'm doing a you now. Um, I, I'd really enjoy if y'all could come over and talk to me on you now live. Just just keep an eye out. It'll, it'll come up on YouTube too. But to actually talk to me, you'll have to go over to you now. You might even have to download it. I'm not sure. But, uh, come over, talk to me, and let me know what you think. Or leave me a comment below if you're, if you're not interested in doing that. Because I, I, I do, I've got 32,000 subscribers from being honest. And I'm proud of that. And uh, I don't want to just walk away from this channel. And I, I mean, the channel's never going to go anywhere. But, you know, I want to continue to keep this fresh. And, but I want to be separated from those, those kids that are making it. And I can call them kids because that's what they are. They're kids. And maybe they're, they're just thinking about money 
you know, and I've been young and naive and, and uh, not truly thought about the consequences of what I'm doing. But the problem is, is they got adults backing them. And that's what makes it even that much worse. And I won't get into too much of that, but they, they're just a lot of people exploiting people and it's not right. And I just don't want to be part of it. Um, so I said my two cents. I normally don't go on here on rants. I normally don't do things like that. But I, I just would rather come and talk to you all and ask you questions before I just stop uploading one day and then everyone wondered what in the world happened to me. And then you see me on this channel over here doing everything else and then the assumption will be he don't care about what got him started he's just worried about this and that nothing could be further from the truth because I love doing this I just I just need I need your all's help and although I may not know you all as best friends or we were raised up together you all are an important part of me currently now so uh, anything I, I appreciate it guys and always remember yes I want to grow yes I'd love to see this channel keep on uh, getting bigger but uh, support the people that have been busting their ass for 11 years and always being honest to the viewers and always caring about it make sure you, they always stay the top meaning Matt3756 uh, and Joe JJ General always talk about him and my other buddy Phil that's my my trio that I consider my YouTube friends and there's a bunch of other uh, people. I mean, I know uh, Arcade Warrior. He's a good uh, good guy. He, I asked him a question before I got with my network. He helped me out. I don't really watch a lot of uh, arcade channels, but uh, I know there's a couple plus time wins. Uh, they seem to be good people. I mean, there's good people still on here, but uh, the problem is, is the the bad bunch is what's rising. So, guys, I I gotta shut up. Uh, I didn't plan on talking all this long but thank you so much uh hopefully i didn't pull you all down i'll try to do just the opposite but i just had a bit man I to get it off the chest the chest is getting too much so guys thank you so much no matter where you're watching that no matter where you're at in the world i hope you have the best day ever and i look forward to hearing what you say and hopefully i'll see you on you now this weekend all right guys thank you so much talk to you soon